me there, it's Carrie from the Writing Center. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a title page using APA format. So you are gonna start with a blank Word document. And before we actually start typing, uh, there are a couple of formatting changes that we want to set up so that our paper is formatted correctly. You'll notice that usually our Word document is gonna default to size 11 font. And we want to change that to size 12 because APA requires size 12 font. I like to also use Times New Roman font. There are a number of fonts that are acceptable in APA, but I just always default to Times New Roman. So once I've changed my font, before I actually start typing once again, APA requires page numbering. So I want to insert page numbering. To do that, I'm going to go up into my menu bar and I'm gonna click on the insert button. And then about three quarters of the way across to the right is the option to insert page numbering. Once I click on that, APA page numbering format is at the top of the page and it's in the upper right. So I'm gonna choose this third option. And you can see that I've got my page numbering here to get outside of the header, I just double click. And now I have my page numbering inserted and that will carry over into all of the pages of my document. Once again, before I start typing, I'm going to do a few other formatting changes. So I'm going to click under paragraphs and I want to make sure that I set my page to double spacing. Everything in APA is double spaced. And so once you've turned double spacing on in your document, then you'll be set for the rest of your project. So I'll hit double spacing and press OK. To begin my title page, APA directs us to enter down three times on double space settings. So one, two, three. And then everything on the title page is going to be centered. So I'm going to go up here into my menu bar and I'm going to click on the option for centering my font. The first item of information on a title page is the title of your project. And this is going to be in bold font. And so whatever you have chosen for the title of your project, you're gonna type on this line. That is the only part of the title page that is in bold font. So I'm gonna turn bold off. I'm gonna enter down, and then I'm gonna enter down one more time because in APA format, there's one blank line of space in between the title and the rest of the information on the title page. After the title of my project, I will type in my name first and last because I'm the author. And I'm gonna enter down on the next line. This is what's called your affiliation information. So this is gonna be the name of the department that your project is affiliated with and the name of the university in wherever you are attending school. On the third line down, you are going to put the course number and the course name. On the fourth line down, you will list your instructor's name, first name and last name, and you can put doctor if you know that your instructor is a doctor. And then on the last line, we're going to type the assignment due date. So note that this is not necessarily the date that you're creating your project unless you're creating it on the due date. Uh, this is the day that the project is going to be turned in. Once you have all of this information, this is how your page will look and you will eventually enter down and you will start your actual project on the next new page. Remember to remove the centered alignment uh, and then you'll be ready to go with the rest of your paper. Just to give you one other image of this, if you go to the APA website or just even on Google, if you type in APA 7 title page, you'll pull up this website and the APA website has a sample title page and they've got it all filled in for you with those same labels. So you can see the page numbering. They've got a sample title, a sample student name, it shows you exactly what that affiliation looks like, department of blank, comma, 
Western Technical College as our university. The class number and the class name is listed there. There's a sample instructor listed and a sample due date. So I hope that this information is helpful as you begin to create your APA project uh, so that you could see exactly how to set up your title page.